Hey, hi everybody, it's Nettie Kay at the studio. I am really busy with about 22 commissions for the holiday season and it's just crazy. But I thought I'd take a break and wish you all a Merry Christmas, uh, Bon Natale, and uh, Feliz Navidad, and a few other ones that I don't really know. But I wanted to thank you for watching over the last year. Our viewers have increased by, oh my goodness, an enormous amount of uh, numbers and uh, we're going to be looking forward to some great days ahead in the new year. So uh, anyway, I wanted to also share with you, I have a little um, children's academy that I teach some uh, very, very talented kids, some prodigies and some just really, really talented children. And uh, we do portraits and everything from age five and a half all the way through 14. And so one of my little girls, who is seven, decided to sit across from her teacher and do a portrait of Miss Nettie. And here I am, and I think she did a pretty good job. And she's only seven years old, and her name is Madison. And so I thought I'd show you that one. I really loved it, and uh, I couldn't resist. Okay. All right. So uh, the painting that I'm working on right now, I'll let you peek in on. I'm working on this white uh, dog, and so I had a good question come in that was um, how to paint the white fur. Again, I'm going to simplify this for you. I put in a teal, or a thalo turquoise, drop of thalo turquoise into some white. I have a second puddle of, uh, let's see, it's yellow ochre and white, and a third puddle of violet and white. And, and then I will bounce them back and forth. And it just makes it really work. Now the highest lights I've decided to do in this kind of a uh, turquoise and white. And I just decide what the, um, the, the color of the light is going to be. Uh, I can have a warm light or I can have a cool light. And so say right at the back of the leg I'll put this um, uh, the lightest light. So I'm working kind of backwards from what I normally do. These are in here are a little bit, um, a little more dull because I want the focus to be right on the face. And so the bridge of the nose has got the lightest light. And so I've decided to uh, work my way backwards this time around. Most of the time I work from dark to light, but today I'm going to be working a little bit from light to dark. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now as I, I go in a little bit lower in um, the value, meaning how light it is, I'm going to put some yellow in here. And so anywhere that I see some uh, kind of a warm color, I'll put the yellow color and we'll work it around. So it's a, yes, it's a white dog, but boy, does it have a lot of different things going on. Now, I want to make sure that this area right here, which is in shadow, is going to uh, stand out, uh, stand back. And so I'm going to take a little bit of Viridian and I'm going to mix that with some uh, Alizarin Crimson. So Alizarin Crimson and Viridian will make a bit of a, a shadow color that will cause this part to go back. And I'll put that shadow color over here as well. Get my brush wet with some medium and we'll just start working that shadow color in. I want to make sure it's not too purple, so I'm going to put a little more Viridian in. It just makes a really nice gray for a white, uh, a white animal. And we'll put a little bit under here. I'm just patching it in. So um, we're not going to be doing a lot of animals uh, after this, uh, probably once the Christmas season is over, I will uh, move back into our still life because I know not everybody is into dogs. So, oh, I got quite a bit of teal on there, didn't I? Okay, let's tone that down with um, some more of the purple. I'm actually going to add a little bit of orange to it to make it more like it should be there. Okay. I want that face to pop out, so that's why I'm, I'm backing it down with some, some other flavors. Isn't that fun? Okay, now I'm going to do that same color uh, in the shadow over here. And then a little bit here. 
had a, a challenge on this one in that I couldn't, the, the bottom of the feet are missing in the photograph. And boy, I can paint anything if I can see it, but if I, if I can't see it, it's very hard for me to just make it up sometimes. But I found that out a few times <laughs> this season where I've taken, oh, sure, I can paint that. I can pretend like I know what that is. No, if you can't see it, it's really hard to uh, make it look proper. So I've learned a few good lessons this year, and that's make sure that you've got a good photo or don't take the commission. It's really, really important. Uh, you don't want to frustrate yourself, and you don't want to put out bad work either. So make sure you have a, the best photograph that you can possibly come up with. Um, sometimes when I'm doing people and somebody will send me some photographs of someone that has passed away and there's no opportunity to get more uh, photos. It makes it a big challenge. So anyway, make sure that you leave good photos for your relatives behind in case they want to do a portrait of you. Okay, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I was doing on this. We're not going to get too much into this. Okay, now I'm going to go into the, the light um, teal again. We'll go up on the top. And I'll work that teal and white down into that shadow color. Remembering the shape of the dog. So it's, you know, I'm not filling it in this way. I'm, I'm making sure that I, I am aware of the shape of the dog. And I am just thinking about the direction of the hair and, and you know, doing this kind of a thing when I'm, I'm working on it. And then... Um, I have a little light that comes out right here, so I'll put that in. And uh, it's nice and loose. I, I really like it when it's loose like this. In fact, I will be offering some um, new options on my site uh, so that people can order some, um, some of the looser style, you know, kind of like this. If you want to order a loose painting, uh, I'm going to make those available to you instead of just the you know, photorealistic. I would actually rather paint them quite loose than photorealistic, but um, you know, a lot of people just really like them super tight, and so that's why I paint them that way. The older I get, the more I am inclined to do things loosely. I don't know whether I've just run out of patience or my eyes aren't as good, but I just I just love the way they look. There's just something about about that, you know, that kind of loose uh, rendering, where you you don't need all the little details put in. You know where what things are. Not a big deal. Okay. Let's put in a little bit of that darker. Um, get a little alizarin crimson and some of that purple, and I'm going to put the dark part underneath in the tongue area. And then we'll go up here. Uh, where else do I see that? And then a little bit of the black. Sometimes I'll mix blue, I'll mix black by putting alizarin crimson, sap green, and phthalo blue together. This just makes it a much livelier black. Okay, so this is definitely, well, if you guys watched the boxer one, or boxer and uh, bulldog painting, which is, I think, right before this one, wow, what a great fun time that was uh, with the, the looseness of the stroke. And part of what causes it to be a good painting is the fact that there is good uh, light. On this particular dog, we know that the light's coming from over here and shining down, and you have all of the information with the shadow. Uh, on the dog, and so it makes it much, much easier to, um, to figure it out. These are kind of purpley, so I'm going to add some viridian to the color, a little bit more of the green color, and a little more medium. At this stage, I add a lot of medium, uh, not only to keep the paint moving, but also because I know that they're going to have to dry very, very quickly. And so, uh, because they have to be shipped off um, in a very, very short time. So, I'm working the whole thing over at one time, too. So I don't just pick away at any one tiny spot, but I'm, I'm working the entire painting uh, so I don't, you know, 
get hung up and then have one thing perfectly right and the rest of it all wrong. So you want it to, to all work together. Anyway, I hope, uh, I hope you guys are, I hope you all are, have been enjoying this, this show and um, our time together. And it's, uh, we'll be doing some still life coming up and some flowers and, and you can make requests and say, mm, I'd like to see this, that, or the other thing. We'll be doing some portraits. Oh, I, one thing I have going on, I, possibly in January, uh, we are building a model stand in the classroom, and I will be doing a portrait of one of our local cowboys. And wow, is that ever going to be fun. So uh, I'm working on making sure that I know what his face looks like, and, and then we're going to invite him into the studio and have an audience, and uh, we'll... Uh, do a Cowboy Fred. It's going to be awesome. Okay, I'm just going to let that uh, sit for a moment. And uh, meanwhile, I'll let you take a look at some of the work that the kids have done in the Wee Da Vinci Academy. I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, I'll be right back. kids doing a fantastic job. I'm so proud of them. I hope that you get your paintbrushes out during the holidays this year and uh, I hope also that you don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified the next time I make a new video for you. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.